Recycling starts and ends at the home. A lot of people like to think that by putting something in their recycling cart, that's the end of the story. And it, now it's not my problem anymore, it's out of my control. But really, we view that as the beginning of the story. We really wanna make sure that the right material gets to the right place. It is not cost effective for us to be moving garbage around that is eventually gonna take the scenic route to the landfill. Glass as a material used in packaging needs to touch a variety of areas um, that will make the circle, right? The recycling circle. It starts with you as the consumer. You buy a glass product off the shelf, you consume it or you use it, you throw it in your recycling bin. It's picked up by a hauler and then it goes to a, what we call a MRF. It's a material recovery facility. From there, they're gonna process all your materials and the glass is gonna come to strategic materials where the processor will process the glass and get it ready to go back into glass manufacturing. That'll go to our customer. Our customer is a company like Ardoff who makes uh, new glass bottles. From there, it'll go back to the shelf. The beauty of that is the whole cycle takes between 14 and 25 days. So if you drink a beer in the month of September, you could drink essentially the same bottle a month later that's been completely rebuilt and remade for you. So it's wonderful uh, in that respect. Well, we've got a uh, MRF, which is a material recovery facility that processes the commingled recycling. And in our uh, programs, we accept uh, recyclable materials from really the five state areas. And in that area, our, uh, on our acceptable list is glass. So we uh, take glass in at our recycling facility here, and we remove that and clean it up and then send it off to secondary processors to process that uh, glass further and bring it to end markets. When we educate the public and the community, we have a lot of messaging around nothing smaller than your fist in the recycling bin. And a lot of that is around uh, preserving the quality of our glass because a lot of that smaller fraction stuff goes with the glass. So we have two primary markets that Cullet goes into, and Cullet just means it's furnace ready to be used. So it could be color sorted and meeting certain specifications. It'll either go into glass container manufacturing to make new glass containers or new glass bottles, or it'll go into fiberglass insulation. So that pink insulation that goes in between your walls uses up to 70% recycled content in the manufacturing process. We and our customers choose glass for three main reasons. It protects the product and provides excellent shelf life for our customers' product. The second one is it provides the best experience. It is transparent, it allows for the customer product to be showcased, and it also can be made in various different shapes, sizes, and colors and also provides an ability for decoration if the customer requires to do so. And the third and most important uh, attribute that glass has is that it is the most environmental friendly packaging solution in the world. Glass is fundamental to Owens Corning's business. Uh, over 80 years ago, Owens Corning was founded on the ability to make commercial glass fibers, and that started our insulation and our composites business. And today, many of our products use glass and their properties as fundamental to the core value proposition that we have for our customer. If you look at a typical residential cavity in a wall, the bat of insulation that fills that cavity is made from about six bottles of beer. Glass is about 80% of our portfolio by weight. Glass is a critical material for Diageo. The technical advantages of glass are that it's strong and it can hold up a lot of load. And because of that, we're able to do things with glass packaging that we can't do with other packaging materials. The other technical advantages of glass is that it's impermeable. It's impermeable to oxygen ingress from the external environment, and it's also impermeable to carbon dioxide loss from a carbonated product inside. The right glass packaging with the right closure system is basically airtight, and that product in there is protected from the attack of oxygen on the product until the consumer opens it and enjoys it. If you look at our system today, we use around 40% of recycled glass in our production process. And this is broadly aligned with the rest of the industry in the US. When we compare to our peers in Europe, they are at 70%. So we have a lot 
of, of room for progress in this area. And as I said before, it is the right thing to do because it's good for our planet and good for our business. So stuff tastes better, it feels better, it chills better, it heats better, and you can reuse the glass. It's a, it's a wonderful way to be. So when you go to the store, choose glass. It's much better for the environment and you're gonna enjoy it better.